Hey, Vivette 77. Okay, folks, I, I just need to say this just to uh, make things clear. Um, when I reload, I do this for me. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm not suggesting you do it my way. And if you do, you do that at your own risk. There are a lot of different ways to approach a problem when reloading. And what you see in my videos are the way I've done it in that particular instance. Um, I've had several rifles where I've had to uh, figure out how exactly to make the gun function and a load that would work in group accordingly. You'll see in my series on the Kropacha, uh the ongoing struggle I had till I finally got uh, the rifle to shoot decent. Uh, currently, behind me, as you see, is the uh, Cadet and Gavir Model 18. Eight, uh, boy, now I'm getting confused. Model 18, uh, uh, I forget, having a brain fart, old man fart. Anyway, you see it back here. Um, I've had people tell me to ream the neck. I've had other people tell me to turn the neck. Um, I've, had, I've had people tell me I'm using the wrong bullet, uh, that it shouldn't be that big. Well, look, it's my gun. I double-checked the bore. I slugged it twice to make sure that I was using the correct diameter bullet. Now, I'm probably going to assume, as I've seen... Uh, uh, pictures of the original Italian Vetterly bullet, which was a black powder bullet. Uh, it was paper patched for one. Also, I believe they were hollow based bullets. Now, I'm not using paper patch, also, not a hollow based bullet. It's a Lee mold. Uh, I believe it was made specifically for the better Vetterly. Um, and in either case, paper patching or otherwise, <coughs> I don't believe even if I paper patch it will work because when you patch it to bring it out to the correct diameter, you're still bringing the neck up to the point where it wouldn't chamber. So in my case, I decided to heal the <laughs> and that worked just fine. I didn't, I tried, again, like I told you in the previous video, I tried to turn the neck and the material was so thin that when I pressed the bullet in, it tore the um, case. So I went the direction I did. It works. I'm sure there are other methods that work just as well. Um, so that's where I'm at on that. I'm going to run a few more through this and let you watch. Um, I did get it to function. I had to make a, an ejector screw for this gun because it uses a little pin that sticks up into the receiver underneath the bolt. It was missing uh, the cleaning rod, which is just cosmetics, but um, it looks pretty good on the gun. So I got a reproduction and had it special made to fit uh, this particular rifle. Finding parts for this rifle, uh, good luck. It was a mismatched bolt when I got it. It would not close on a loaded round. Um, I had to uh, turn the face of the bolt down in a lathe until it actually worked, and I did two attempts on that until it closed on uh, different makers of uh, cases. I used the LaBelle case as the parent case, and uh, it works just fine. Uh, so let's uh, do a few more rounds and uh, then I'm going to move on to something else. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, you can use Cerasafe. Uh, you don't have any, and I think that's the ideal way to go. That way you know what your chamber is, and you can load accordingly. And it gets rid of some of the trial and error, so... I'm going to uh, get some Cerasafe and play with that uh, next time I have issues with the rifle.
projector works. As you can see, I've done a whole bunch more shooting, but I'm aiming clear down here and shooting up, and it's aiming, it's hitting right here, so my Kentucky windage on elevation is about right. These are the first four shots I did in the first video, and these are what I've done so far after the first video. I'm uh, thinking this is a uh, really a complete success. The thing's a lot of fun to shoot. We're shooting around 1100, I think 1150 down to 1114 feet per second. They vary a little bit. Um, windage is right on and elevation is high, which at 50 yards you would expect. Um, I think these were set, uh, the, the uh, minimum range is 300 yards. I don't know if the, how that equates in my load, because I never shoot that far out. Okay, folks, that's the last I'm going to do a video on this gun, unless somebody has more requests for it. And I think... Uh, We've found, in my case, how I need to load the Cadet and Gavir Model 1870 rifle.